What is going on, my super sandwiches? Roms are here, and today I have a Dragon Ball Xenos 2 rumor for you guys. And the reason why I say it's rumor is because there's no actual gameplay just quite yet. This is just two images that were teased in the collage that makes me assume we'll see these characters. But uh, until they actually confirm it, don't assume that they will be for sure. Just know this is all just a rumor for now. So earlier today, or recently I should say, because I have no idea when this presentation was done, there was a Xenos 2 presentation that was done, and they showed off a collage of characters under the product information sheet. And on this collage, they show off Imperfect Cell, Android 16, Dodoria Zarbon, Regular Cooler, Meta Cooler, Majin Vegeta, Future Gohan, Gogeta, Turles, uh, Timebreaker Bardock, Lord Slug, Janimba, and Mira. And obviously this video is about Meta Cooler and Majin Vegeta. So again, there's no actual gameplay yet, so we can't quite assume whether or not these characters will be in it, but I do know they were highly requested, especially Majin Vegeta. I mean, Xenos 1 that having Majin Vegeta was probably one of the biggest letdowns in the entire game. And to have him not in the next game will be stupid, it'll be foolish. So it only makes sense that they'll bring back one of the fan favorite forms of Vegeta in Xenoverse 2. But again, until there's actual gameplay, I can't quite confirm just yet. Just assume that this is a teaser for now. If you want to see the video for yourself, I will link it in the description below with the uh, screenshot that I showed a couple seconds ago. Roughly is around 1 minute 40 seconds or so, somewhere around there. And you'll see in the background, it is indeed Majin Vegeta as well as Meta Cooler. So the question I have for you guys is, who wants Majin Vegeta in Xenoverse 2? It's kind of a stupid question, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure everybody does. But if you want Majin Vegeta, if you're hyped for Majin Vegeta, I want you to hashtag it down below in the comment section. Now the thing that I'm excited about is, it's not about just getting Majin Vegeta. I mean, if you add a character like Majin Vegeta and you have to think about all the other stuff that'll come along with it. The moveset that we can get for our custom character characters. I mean, who here, let me ask you a question. Who here would equip Final Explosion for your custom character character if that was in the game? I mean, that would be awesome. That'd be an incredible move to, to pull off. On top of that, we could probably get the clothes as well. And the thing that I really, really want is the Majin logo for your custom character characters. I mean, that would be an incredible touch for like the perfect evil character you're trying to build in that game. And I'm hoping that they do add all that into the game and not just the character. So give me the moves, give me the Majin logo, give me all that good stuff. And I'm pretty sure everybody will be excited for all that. Now again, I just want to confirm that none of this is confirmed just yet. I mean, for all we know, whoever made this presentation is an idiot and just added both of these characters without really even thinking. But then again, not having Majin Vegeta and Xenomus 2 will be kind of foolish, so it wouldn't make sense to ex exclude him again. So, until we see actual gameplay, just take this with a grain of salt and assume it's a rumor. And uh, hopefully, if we do get confirmation and gameplay in the future, I will let you guys know and uh, keep you in the loop with all that good stuff. Now, before we end this video, I do want to ask you guys a quick question. Uh, as of right now, we still don't know what the final roster is going to be in the game. We'll probably get that somewhere closer to October. But if there's one villain that was not present in Xenomus 1 that you would want to see added in Xenomus 2, who would that be and why? And with me, I gotta go with... At first, I thought Hachiak maybe because Hachiak was an awesome character in the Rage and Blast series. But what I really want to see from the villain side is Buhan. Like Buhan, like, first of all, having Super Buu in Xenoverse One without the absorptions was was freaking stupid. We all can agree on that. So I'm hoping that they do give us Buhan and Boo tanks and maybe even Boo Piccolo or Buccolo, whatever the hell his name is, the Boo uh, absorptions in Xenoverse Two. Like that'd be awesome to see. So if I had to pick one for me, it's Buhan. But what about you guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below or which character you want to see and why from the villain side. Don't just say I want to see Broly. I want to see Frieza. Like those characters are already in the game. I'm talking about new characters, new characters that were not present in Xenoverse 1, who would that be for you and why? Again, I want to reiterate one last time that as of right now, this is still a rumor. Don't go around saying this is confirmed left and right because we have no gameplay yet. For all we know, whoever made this presentation just goofed and added Majin Vegeta and Metal Cooler for no reason. Then again, it could be a possible teaser, so who knows? Gamescom is around the corner and once we get news uh, around then, there's going to be a big update sometime in a couple days. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel, subscribe if you're new here, and I will keep you guys in the loop with all what's to come in Xenoverse stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy us today. My name is Ramstan. I will see all y'all super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.